Hi, this is your Boomer Tech Guide, Chris Toy, and today we are going to do a recipe from my new cookbook, the Easy Chinese Recipe Cookbook. So um, we're going to do fried rice because we have leftover rice from yesterday, and uh, when you make fried rice, you have to use leftover rice. And it's a very quick stir fry. The thing you just have to remember is that when you stir fry, you don't want things to be really wet. So we'll start with the, uh, with the eggs. And uh, let me just heat this up. I'm using my, my large cast iron wok so that when I toss things around, I don't make a big mess. So let's, uh, let's do that. I'll preheat that. And um, so for the egg, we will we have two scrambled eggs in here, and I'm going to add some flavoring. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. There we go. We'll just mix that in. And we're going to add some fresh ginger. So here's our fresh ginger root. And I'll do two, two coins. And we'll use our cleaver. Take care of that. And we'll just slice that up. I'm going to slide this. What I've done over here is I preheated my wok and I put in two tablespoons of oil. You want to use avocado oil because avocado oil will get up to 500 degrees before it smokes. So I'm going to flavor the oil by putting in my fresh crushed ginger. There's a good amount of moisture in there, so it's not likely to burn. There we go. All right, so while that's browning up, what I'll do is I will give some garlic the same treatment. Now garlic will burn a little bit quicker, so you want to be careful about this. So we're going to put this garlic right in. We'll give it a quick stir. And then we'll put in our egg. And we're just going to scramble this egg up. It should happen pretty quickly. So we want this to be pretty dry. Some people actually like to brown the egg. This is a really nicely seasoned cast iron wok. When they're seasoned, they're naturally non-stick. And I'll just turn the heat down a little bit. Interesting. All right. So we'll reserve this later. <coughs> All right. 
So, when you stir fry, you want to make sure that all of your ingredients are prepared. So, one of our ingredients today is going to be Chinese sausage, which is a um, cured sausage. It's uh, kind of sweet, and it has a uh, it has a very high fat content. And what I'm doing is something called a roll cut. So I literally will, at about a 45 degree angle, I'll slice this probably into like half inch pieces and I'll give it a quarter of a turn each time, just like that. And what that does is that exposes a lot of the interior of the sausage to stir fry. All right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this sausage into the wok. I'm going to add a little bit more oil, probably just a, a tablespoon. And I'm going to render that sausage. So the fat from that sausage is going to uh, melt into the wok. I kind of think of this sausage as... Uh, almost like a bacon, except it's really sweet. All right. So our other ingredients, while that's rendering, is uh, we've got some onion. And what I'll do with the onion, it's a medium onion, I'm going to slice this into half inch cubes. And let's put that right in. So these onions are going to cook up. with the sausage, and that fat from the sausage is going to give it a lot of flavor. Alright, we're just going to let that stir fry up, probably for two minutes. So while that's happening, let's get the rest of our ingredients together. So we're going to... Um, Use some shrimp. This is medium shrimp. And what I like to do with the shrimp is I will slice it right down the middle like that. This is when it's good to have a nice sharp knife. I don't have to force it. I just kind of slide it right along there. And what this will do is when the shrimp cooks, it will take on a uh, rotini shape. So let's give this another stir over here. So those onions are separating. So we don't want them to caramelize. We just want them to get a little bit sweet. So we'll put in some thawed frozen peas. You can use other vegetables if you want. Um, sometimes I'll use uh, corn, which is kind of nice. So we're just going to put these peas right in. About a cup. I'm just going to gently toss those. Let the, uh, let the uh, fat and the oil kind of flavor them. All right. So you can see, as I said, this is a dry process. There's not a lot of liquid here, except for the uh, fat and a little bit of the avocado oil. So let's put our shrimp in. This is on a medium-high heat on the wok. All right. 
Nein. So now our egg. We're going to cut this egg right in. Again, so the mistake that people sometimes make is they know there's egg in fried rice and they'll try to add the raw egg now instead of cooking it up in advance. And that just kind of makes everything soggy. And you can see the, um, you can see the shrimp has curled up. All right. So what we'll do is we're going to add the rice we'll add maybe like two cups of rice. I have a leave a little rice for some soup. So there's a fair amount of fat in here which is gonna coat the rice. And this is, uh, the rice was basically just uh, sitting on, covered on the stove top overnight. So we're gonna add some flavoring now. So maybe like a tablespoon of soy sauce. A little carried away there. And then we have a couple choices for other flavoring. Um, if you like it spicy, you can use spicy sesame oil. Or if you just want that nutty flavor, just regular sesame oil. I'm looking at Joan and she says use a regular sesame oil. So just a teaspoon, not a lot. And it's the sesame oil that actually gives it kind of a nice nutty flavor. And then we'll add a little bit of pepper. I'll give that a stir. All right, I'm gonna add one more thing that is not in the recipe in the cookbook. Just to show you, you don't have to always do what the recipe says. But this is truffle oil, which is a great flavor, a mushroom flavor. So I'm gonna add like a half a teaspoon of truffle oil, just for some flavor. And the sesame oil and the truffle oil, you don't stir fry with that. It's really just meant to be uh, for flavoring, especially the sesame oil. It can burn very easily. And that is my house special fried rice. Let me just rinse this off. And we'll have it. Have a taste. Yeah. Always hot. Tastes good. Here's a Chinese sausage. I always get a lot of this because Joan doesn't like the Chinese sausage. So that's it for now. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you next time.